God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for being with us today. We are Abundant Grace Church, and I'm Bishop Ramon de Maria, and I'm the pastor of the church. Our message title today is Help a Sinner. Our scripture will be from the book of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 1, which reads as follows. If anyone is caught in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. Notice the word caught. My beloved, most of us who stumble thought at one time, that one never happened to me, but it did. In a moment of weakness, we yielded to evil. When this happens to someone in God's family, we have a responsibility to restore them, regardless of the nature of the sin. In this scripture, this word restore has medical overtones. It pictures a physician resetting a broken limb. To restore someone spiritually, we must, one, help them to acknowledge their failure. After his affair with Bathsheba, David prayed, I have sinned and done what is evil in your sight. That is Psalm chapter 51 and verse 4. Two, help them to accept responsibility for their sin. Even though someone else may have been a contributing factor, we are still accountable to God. Three, help them to repent. My beloved, repentance involves deep remorse, turning away from our sin and moving in a new direction. Four, help them to make restitution. For example, someone who has done wrong needs to make amends when possible. Five, help them to grow stronger through it. My beloved, through failure, God teaches us lessons that keep us from wandering into similar situations in the future. Six, help them to respond to God's correction with gratitude. Granted, my beloved, This is not easy, but when a person comprehends God's purpose in such discipline that we might share in his holiness, we feel like God has his hand upon us. My beloved, let us thank our Heavenly Father every day for his forgiveness when we fall into sin. You know, our Heavenly Father loves us very much, and he corrects us with love. My beloved, when we realize how much God the Father loves us, through sending his only begotten son to die for us, we see that he is always there for us when we repent. So thank God for Jesus Christ, because through him we have the victory. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, thank you for your forgiveness. And we pray this prayer in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. My beloved, have a blessed day. Help someone that has fallen into sin. And if you fall into sin today, repent and ask God to forgive you through Jesus Christ our Lord. God bless you and have a great day.